Hey fellas, we have actually made progress in the SU-100. What, I hear you say? We have the SU-100 M1 unlocked. We have the funds. Let's purchase it. Let's join the struggle bus. Unfortunately, we do not have the gold to get the crew to 100%. Story of our lives, is it not? It's fine. It's fine. We now have said SU-101. Let's view it in the garage. Now, because we have the SU-101, do we need the SU-100 anymore? No, we do not. So, let's sell the SU-100. So we're going to sell it. But before we sell it, we're going to strip it. Of pretty much everything. But what I'm going to do is sell off all the old ammo. Because we, we won't be needing that. Sell, sell. Send that to the depot. Ammunition sell, 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 sell. All right. So five, six, seven, three, zero, nine. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's gone. Now, what does that leave us with? That leaves us with Tonk. Strange Tonk. Why is this a strange Tonk? Well. Let's take a look at the stats. 120 millimeters of hull armor. Hmm. But it says assault tank destroyer. So that means you're supposed to keep going forward. So does this have mobility? Let's take a look at the power to weight ratio, shall we? We have a power to weight ratio of 15. That's actually pretty freaking good. Um, camo's not that great. Stock, I mean, bear in mind, crew's not 100%. We don't have any modules or anything attached to the tank. So this is its raw stats. Okay. Got bug rule for view range. So we are going to struggle there. 4.5 dispersion. Hmm. That screams get in their boat race. Lack of armor screams don't get in their boat race. Lack of camo screams get in their boat race. Face. It's Cockney slang. The pen... 175 screams you can't snipe unless you spurt gold much better show velocity so if we're gonna go the cheap like the canary route we are not going to be spamming gold 885 meters per second is slow that is not sniping ammo speed that is barely able to hit the broadside of a barn kind of speed that is see the tank Aim up, let the shell fall down. We're talking world of world of warships kind of aim here. Okay, think KV two, but worse. You know, worse the dispersion or, uh, and shell velocity. The higher up you have to aim on the tank. Okay, no little known fact for you. So let's take a look at what research we have unlocked. We have the new, we have the engine and the radio. Okay, cool. So let's buy the the engine. And let's buy the radio. Cool. So, we will do... Eh, there's a high chance we're going to need the tracks. But the fact that the SU-101 is only 80k means we could probably get it done pretty quick. Uh, so, let's load up on our consumables. Again, automatic fire extinguisher. What? Well, Russian tank. Um, that says it all. Don't go with the governor. Don't go with the extra rations. Don't go with the, the, the land lease oil. The reason why is because food is great and all. However, uh, Russian tanks are known to catch fire like that. And seeing as how our crew don't have any skills whatsoever, um, we're kind of forced to take Rama. Obviously, um, 
optics and hardening just like we had on the other one so our dpm goes up our hit points go up suspension repair time goes down so that's good uh, damage from impact damage from du uh, 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 suspension durability uh, okay so that that's all good still we've still got 120 hull armor which kind of sucks uh, our power to weight engine to weight has gone up a little bit too so we, we might not necessarily have to have a turbo which is always a good thing so that's the modules our crew aren't even a hundred percent now I am going to drop some of you for some of you. Now, you know my take on this. We have to have seven and 17, since I did my lucky numbers. And now we're going to whack a camo on it. I got five on it. Mm. Mm. Alright, so do we want to go with one of these, some of this, or do we want to go with a preset style? I mean, we was using, where'd you go? We was using Care to Scare. So, yeah, let's, let's keep that as a theme. The next tank up is Care to Scare no matter what. I like that. But from this point on, I believe the next series of tanks still only have four crew yet four no object 263 gets five okay let's uh look at the su 100 uh m1 now this thing doesn't have armor doesn't have camo it says assault the only thing this is going to insult uh, assault is my sanity uh, I feel I'm going to hate this tank. It's tier 7, so you will see tier 9s. So get used to it. Um, is what it is. I tend to look at the stock gun straight away on, on the next series of tanks up. Why? Because they just... I mean, 175 pen is not... I mean, that will take out some medium tanks of your tier or less easily. But anything your tier or higher... 175 is just going to bounce. I'm sorry. It will just bounce. Okay, you won't even be able to pen a Yagi E100, the superstructure from the side, with 175. You won't. Um, case in point. Uh, German. Yagi. Let's see. 120, see? 120 side armor. Angled. Mm, you'd be lucky if you do get to pen it. You would be lucky. Lucky. Now you're probably thinking, where's your gaggy crew? They're currently sitting in the 8.8. Uh, yeah, just because I wanted to earn some credits. Doesn't mean I'm not going to be playing the Booker. Of course I'm going to be playing the Booker. I'll be playing the Booker live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Deceptive Cobras. Of course, of course, of course. Obviously. So... Let's get to the SU-100M, because that's what we're here for. So, we're going to go poof. And, uh, I guess we could get into a game. And, uh, start the struggle session. So, I am going to activate some boosters. Not credit boosters, because I'm low on those. Uh, I won't be getting any credit boosters until, uh, next week. The clan is recruiting, guys. If you want more information, uh, please leave a message in the video uh, comment section, and I'll be able to help you from there. So let's go. All right, we're finally in a game. El Heluf. Tier eight. So we might be able to pen some low tier stuff. So we won't have to tap the two keys straight away. We're going to do base defense. Depending on one thing. My turn radius. Literally in the next seven seconds. We're going to realize whether or not this tank is worth turn, uh, worth the struggle. Oh. Yeah, the turn rate on this thing is a... Uh, 
Mm. Again, my crew's not 100%. I don't have the upgraded tracks yet, which I will need before I can get the upgraded gun. So, you know, plus my view range isn't all the best. But luckily for us, we do get six cents for free. Yeah, this turn radius, man. Okay, I got lit somehow. I don't have any gun depression either. What the hell? So no gun depression. So I can't aim down. Yeah, 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 whatever. Like, at all. I legit could not aim down from there. That's a sad state of affairs. Right, so like the fact that I can't get shots onto that WZ like I would love to. Come on, yeah, I know. Turn the tank around. Come on. Get go. Get go. Yeah, see? Lit. Yeah. Come on, come on. Critical hit, we hit his gun. Yeah, we can't we can't even pen a Yu-Gi-Oh tank. Yeah, our premium ammo can't even pen a Yu-Gi-Oh tank out in the open. That's premium ammo I'm firing. That was premium ammo I was firing. Good kill, good kill. Yeah, that Saladin was literally protecting my six. I've got to give him props. Thank you for protecting my six, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, careful, brother, careful. They've got someone up there sniping. It's not the VK. Alright, um, yeah, this, this does not bode well for this tank. In fact, I just fired three premium rounds, almost 20,000 credits, and not a single one of them even penned. What is it, 230-something you say I got? 235? Yeah, right, in her bra. Hi. N nothing. Ooh. Uh, ain't got, ain't got. Much obliged. See, I'm just letting my teammates know I'm I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm useless right this second. I am I am completely useless. This map does not bode well for this tank. I'm surprised I bounced some. Ooh 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 ooh. Woo! Yeah yeah, miss me. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that when an R he take takes a pop pop at bottom and they miss. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're losing by a lot of hit points. Oh I have got no view range. Crochetto, known for no armor. Woo! We penned! Woo! We penned! Yay! We penned something, guys! We penned something! <laughs> right, so there's a Yagi behind that rock. Oh! Oh, he just slapped him. Tiger 1 versus a E4 medium and a T25 too. Yeah, E20, yeah, E4's got it. 
One tap. Come on. Tap. There you go. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> Pivot. <laughs> we might have to put a turbo on this. Yeah, I'm lit. What? Bing. Another bounce. Nice. Yeah, mambo. Mambo Italiano. Oh, no, no. Alright. Like I said, we, we we can angle a little bit. We can angle a little bit. You know, pivot. 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 <laughs> Again, my issue is getting this gun down. Okay, we bounced the heat shell there. He missed. See, I'm lit. Hmm. No, E4's got this. Yeah, E4's got this. You got this, E4. In the bag, baby. My issue is that WZ. I'm not going to be able to light anything. Alright. I'm letting him know. Alright, I'm lit. Mm. Yeah, the view range is what's really hurting me. Especially at this tier. The view range is really going to hurt me. This is going to be a struggle session, guys. It's going to be an absolute struggle session. So, on to the next one. Sadly, guys, that was a loss. But, hey, is what it is. And we did not make any kind of credits whatsoever. Um, yeah, we only did 500 damage. We actually lost 600 credits in that game. Yeah. I don't like doing this, but I am going to have to add El Haluf to a no-no list. Uh, El Haluf is just... And, and Province. I'm sorry. Province as a map needs to go. Uh, it is not. Uh, it is not World of Tanks 2023 friendly. At all. And so, it needs to go. Is what it is, guys. Is what it is. Come on, match me go. 10,000 players and you can't find me a match. Yet if I was a CC, you'd find me in a hurry. A protest and actually accelerate things, make things worse, and we never hold them accountable. And it's, a, it's an actual crime to lie to an FBI agent. What, and, and even outside of the context of an investigation. Yeah. So Michael Flynn was criminally charged even though he wasn't being formally questioned. That's ridiculous. It's, I, like, it's like you're hanging out, at, he was, they were hanging out at like a dinner or something in the yeah. White House, and they were like, so, uh, you know, t tell me about this. And then he's like, oh, you know, X, Y, and Z. And they're like, we got it. He just lied to us. That's it. Yep. Oh, yay. Highway. Tier eight. If if I can't even pen, <laughs> it's just no, nah, no, nah, bruv. This this tank is. It's trolling. I'm not trolling. It's trolling. <laughs> I 
I just had to update the other two computers, the server PC and the artsy fartsy PC as I call it. Alright, I am not going to stay in the base and snipe. This gun screams it, I don't have camo. Apparently I have armour to bounce low tier shots, including some heat rounds from a T-34-3, so, but I, and I don't have gun depression, so it just screams Ghost City. Um, maybe with the tracks and the engine up, uh, maybe with the tracks and the gun upgrade, this tank will play differently, I don't know yet. Again, I am not going to say that this is a bad tank. Um, I know subjectively there are just bad tanks. Um, I know this. Like I said, subjectively there are just bad tanks. Um, the Comet um, versus the Cromwell or, or the Cromwell Berlin. Um, I'm sorry, but the, the Comet is subjectively just a bad tank. Uh, hello, fellas, lads, boys, guys. You coming or not? You don't see me, 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 you don't see me. Come on, you dipshits! And this is what happens when low IQ players play World of Tanks. Literally, every single one of our fucking heavies just sat there and went, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So you're literally just going to sit there and do nothing. It's over. It's, it's, it's legit over. At this point, I, I, I would love for World of Tanks to give us the option to just to surrender. You know? Like you like you can in League of Legends, like if you know you're just getting beat and you just you just want to get it over and done with, literally just vote. De -de 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 the remaining players vote. Done. Dealt with. Or better yet, have the option to never play with these players ever again. Because I would literally select every single one of those heavy tank players because they literally just that T twenty nine player was like, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. You go city, you moron. 
you find a nice little spot you go hold down and you farm but no mind you i am glad that we did pen uh, the tiger 131 and the mutant with regular shells i'm happy about that so silver lining but that was literally over in like two minutes well surprise surprise that was a loss that's what happens when heavy tanks play like morons rule of thumb do not rely on anyone and i mean anyone especially a heavy tank player because they are about as bright as a broken light bulb and are as just as fast as a calculator without a battery prove me wrong I swear it seems to be the bigger the the, the, the heavier the tank the dumber the owner all right we do not have any kind of gun depression whatsoever so we're gonna go magic forest because sod it why the hell not um, the only downside I see right now is the reload on this tank um, but I think deep down we will be able to of course we're gonna have bots on our team of course we're gonna have two bots on our team of course we are legit gonna have bots on our team and that's what they are see them both wake up at the exact same time and then both do the exact same turret and rotation movements and then move on yeah the bots those are two bot accounts just following their programming okay so there's an m6 getting clipped out in a crossfire there's a cromwell that i have no shots on a vk all right looks like our e so uh, e25's having a blast okay there's a hellcat come on turn turn I think I'm going to turn this thing into a, a, a Ross meme from Friends. Pivot! 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 Like, this thing just does not turn for shit. Like, clearly this thing needs, um... Clearly, this poor thing needs, uh, some kind of, uh, rotation mechanism or, or... Okay, it's definitely someone back there. Probably the F... F... Oh, fuck off, R.E., you piece of shit. Thank you. Again, like I said, this thing turns like a fucking brick. Jesus Christ, this thing is a turd. Oh my God. Yeah, so bad that even my fucking phone's laughing at me. Piss off. Yeah. Would be nice if that T-34 grew some balls. There. Of course. Please, seriously, Artie, could you kindly fuck off and shoot at something else? Thank you. T-34, seriously. Can you grow some balls? I, I get it, you're a T-34. But me and this poor E-75 are the only thing that's stopping the middle. I've got no shots on that object. Yeah, look, seriously, look at that turn radius. What is that? 
I'm gonna fix that fuel tank, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna have to go with something like um, clutch braking. Definitely gonna have to start putting some uh, points into the crew. So that's that's a given. That is a given. But I I don't have any camo whatsoever or view range for that matter. Because my crew is just garbage. There he is. But well, that was a fun game, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I don't know why, I, I literally told the tank to turn. Oh, oh, no, oh, now we're turning. Okay, fun, yay. The thing is, like, ridiculous. It does not turn for shit. Ugh. Just ugh. 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 Well, apparently we won that one. So apply nice we ammo racked and suspension the uh, FSH okay fair enough so I've only, I, I don't have that much left to do uh, to get that uh, quest done excellent we lost credits though no we actually made credits oh turned out nice again Right, so we've got 8k, and we need another what, 6k to get the tracks. Um, mm, yeah, we definitely... I've got to figure out a, a, a sweet spot for this tank. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did. So, so far, two losses and a victory. Anyway, I'm going to finish off the rest of these uh, bonuses that I've got here. Hang about, we also got Golden Eagle Emblem... Taco emblem. Uh, okay, it's for the Mexico uh, um, flag of Mexico thing. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, guys, I am gonna finish off the rest of these uh, bonuses. All right, guys, we are on Galatia, and so uh, let's um, see what we can do here. We are tier eight game, punching above our weight. So far, we have not been put into a tier nine game. Thank God. Knock on wood. Alright, so we got a Cromwell Berlin going hill. Japanese ship barn. A Joe Rogan. Alright, that's you. Go ahead, mate. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Cromwell Berlin's too slow. The uh, F uh, FSV will get there first. Not even joking, he's too slow. He won't make it. Or the Saladan will beat him to it. There you go. What'd I tell you? Wheeled vehicles are faster than Trank. There you go. I even called it. Saladan. I called it. Yep, he's dead. Absolutely nothing any of us could do. I don't know why the Centurion 1 went there. Enemy armor is strike, Cobra, strike. Uh, 
absolutely nothing I could do. And I can't spot him now. Because my crew sucks. We've got too many tank destroyers on the hill. Wow, I spotted the T20. How is spotting mechanics even work anymore? Yeah, of course. Of course. Piss off, you French piece of shit. Hey, T-43, you want to grow some fucking balls? Come on, guys. Yeah. The thing that hit me twice. None of you shot back at. Can I feather this shot? Three, two. Hmm. Nope. Our Centaurian's being a dick. I'm sorry, but... Saladan's on the damn hill! Come on, R.A. Come on, tank destroyers! You got shots! Jesus Christ, you blind twats. Uh, where'd that shot go, Wargaming? Useless twits. Useless twits. Minute. Redshire. Okay. This is um potentially could be fun. I mean it is Redshire. We are on the southern spawn. I think that as long as I hold mid Tier 7. As long as I hold the mid area, we should be good. There is always Artie here. Poor old Nick, Nick Whack Palawak, give a tank a, a turret. Yeah. The T Series tanks. T Series obviously designate in prototype, so prototype light tank, prototype tank destroyer based on the same chassis. Seriously. Your T-78 is a Jackson turret on a chaffy... Yeah, idiot. You're lit. Don't, don't, don't. Why, why are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Dave. Dave, what are you doing? Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? Oh. That uh, poor T-78 is not liking life. There you go. We're good. Okay, so we've got an A-44. Ironically, um, I believe the A-44 is loosely based on the same platform as this tank. Yeah. Got no shots because some idiot put a cacking great big rock in the way. 
Ooh, 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 get the gun down, get the gun down. Again, this is the problem with this tank, no gun depression, not even a slight wickle of an angle. Got no shots on those tigers, because Wargaming in their infinite stupidity decided to uh, put mountains in the way. So we can't even help defend the push. KV-2 and a Thunderbolt taking on two Tiger Ones and two Palax. This should be interesting. Not really. He's going to need help. He's going to need help. I mean, of course, no, I'm, the, I'm the only one. I'm not the only one that spotted it. T-78 spotted it, too. Yag Panther's just going to sit there because, I mean, he's a Yag Panther. What's he going to do? Walk point, get double tapped, and GG game over. I'm gonna try and get Artie safe. Our Thunderbolt's on fire. Our Thunderbolt is now dead. Tiger has taken a whack. But he's not a one shot to us. Uh, no, he's not. Not even if, even if I mega high roll. Which is never gonna fucking happen. I've got to try and stay. Alright. Yeah. RE will focus over here because they have to. So both their tigers are dead. And it's two Palawax. I think we can go in there. I'm going to go in. I'm going in. I'm going in. KV2's dead. He's. I mean, he's using the rock for cover. He's doing the best he can, but two Palawax have the faster fire rate. Better penetration per shot. Hello, Palawak. I'm going after your friend. Hello. Yeah, good shot. Bye, mate. Yeah, good shot. How'd that work out for you? How's this working out for you? How's this working out for you? How's that working out for you? How'd that work out for you? Yeah, poor KV2 is just going to get hammered like dog shit. AMX 1375 is going to try and keep me lit. Our VK, I mean he did, I wouldn't say he called the right decision going that way, but he went that way. Is what it is. Again, I don't have the view range. I can't light him. Um, IKV-90 is a high, yeah, I was going to say, high chance that the Hellcat's going to be down there. Can I turn, please? If you're just going to sit there and take it, fine by me. Oh, yep, yeah, here he comes. Like I said, auto loaders are broken. Auto loaders are broken. I'm sorry, but they're broken, Wargaming.
<laughs> anyway, so we killed the two Palawak, so I, I did good. And the KV2's got a good sense of humour. Uh, so, hopefully, fingers crossed, that's a victory. <laughs> I mean, I did just hand it to him on a plate. <laughs> but that KV2's got a good sense of humour. <laughs> so, yes, that was a victory. Third class mastery badge. Uh, Master gunner. Duelist. And uh, fire for effect. We will apply. Awesome. Hellcat, we knocked out his engine. Palawak, we knocked out his tracks. And the other Palawak, we knocked out his fuel tank. Awesome. Awesome. And more awesome. And so, there's that. We've got 14k. <sighs> tracks or gun? This is the dilemma. Tracks or gun? What do we do? What do we do? Tracks up my traverse speed, which is what is woefully slow on this thing um suspension repair time does go down which is even better um but this gun means we won't have to dab the two key that often you know we'll get the tracks yeah we'll get the tracks any any kind of performance increase that allows us to move better in my honest opinion, is where we're at. So this is where I'm going to leave the video series, guys, for the On Track series. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. And most importantly, please check out my sponsors down below. Uh, a big thank you to coffeebrandcoffee.com for sponsoring my channel, for sponsoring the content. Uh, Jeremy over at Coffee Brand Coffee, dude, you rock. Links will be in the description down below. Follow the link, get 10% off your order of coffee, you name it. US free ship, uh, I believe it's free shipping over a certain amount of orders. Um, but they also do teas, cocos, K cups, you name it. Go check out the website, it's awesome. You're supporting a local parallel economy, so you're not going to a big box store like Sam's Club, Walmart, Kmart, etc. and spunking your money away you're literally helping out a local american company that hires american people so that's all that matters they are coming up with european shipping here soon so look forward to that so if you're here in the uk like me or around the world you too will soon be able to get your hands on some luscious 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 roasted nuts from jeremy at coffeebrandcoffee.com anyway guys take care and i will see you in the next one